Okay, this video shows off our new digital ecosystem library site. So like, things like, you know, is blank approved for use in FCPS? You know, what are some alternative tools that I could do something similar to this thing? Do you know of anything good tools for a particular purpose like media creation? Do I have to get parental consent to use this? So this digital ecosystem library will help you answer those teachers questions. And ideally, if you point them directly there, they can answer their own questions. So on the ecosystem site, front and center, there's a link to the digital ecosystem library. You require, this uh, requires VPN to get to, so you need to, to be logged into VPN. And then the digital ecosystem library, as we had last year, last year it looked more like a, a spreadsheet, uh, but it lists all of the tools that are approved for use in FCPS. And this summer we rolled out a new interface to that. It looks more like eCart search. So I could at, at the top just start typing in a title. So if I was searching for Flipgrid, or just type in flip everything with flip somewhere in the name or description will come up you know flipgrid is one of those and you know, we still have these green yellow red approved approved with conditions not approved labels on each one i could click on one and, and open up an, an about page about it um, i'll do that towards the end of the video i've got a i'm on the basic search screen so i've got three filters so i could search using the the bar at the top I could search by audience, elementary, middle, high, by curriculum, and there are more than these, begins by purpose. So those are the three filters on the basic search. I can sort by name, by approval status, by the date it, the record was last updated. If I go over to the advanced search, I've got more filters. So audience, same as before. Ecosystem category, you can learn more about those on the ecosystem site. But if I wanted to search for like my core programs, I could do that. By curriculum, again, searchable. By device, like what's for iOS, what's for Windows. Purpose, same thing we had before. What's their pricing model? Do I buy it once or is it a freemium or what's going on there? By permission, do we have permission to use it? Do we have a contract with this thing? Do I need to get parental permission? And if you have more questions about parental permission, I highly encourage you to check out the session that Leslie Borgenhagen and Elizabeth Hernandez are doing during the ESPITS kickoff. So they're going a lot more in detail about parental permission in that session. By approval, approved, approved with conditions, it's not. And then that also takes you back to the basic search.